Gaming mice are no stranger to this channel, but this package that just arrived from Asus ROG is quite different. It comes with a mouse pad. Not because it's a freebie, but because it's integral to the operation and enjoyment of the mouse. Let's get them unboxed. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, on to the video. So these are the new ROG X AimLab Harp Ace Gaming Mouse and Hone Ace Gaming Mousepad. As is obvious from the packaging, this is a collaborative effort between Asus ROG and AimLab, so there is a promise of esports level performance in these products. Let's start with the mousepad. The ROG Hone Ace comes in a rectangular box that is standard among ROG mousepads. One thing to note, it says here on the box that it's an AIM training mousepad. Alright, at the side of the box we have a code from AIMLAB, saying we strive to do everything to elevate your play. We hope this mousepad takes you to the next level. I hope so too AIMLAB, since I've been recently roasted by user Toxic SLI on YouTube for being really bad at Quake. Hopefully this can help me improve my skills. On the other side of the box, we see the product features. It's designed for pros, it says here. Alright, it's got a hybrid cloth surface for smooth operation, an extra soft rubber base, and most importantly, the ruler measurement markings and AIMLAB XROG360 work in tandem to improve your aim. Pretty cool. Here at the left side, it gives us a little preview of that AIMLAB XROG360 app. The unboxing experience is fairly straightforward, we just have to unsheath the mousepad from the box, nothing else is included inside. As we can see, this mousepad looks special. Instead of having red stitching at the side like usual ROG mousepads, it has light blue. There is also a large AIMLAB logo printed in the middle, and we can also see the ruler print at the bottom part. A quick check reveals that the ruler on the mousepad is correctly measured in centimeters, so you can actually know how much of your mouse or your forearm is moving when using the aim training tools. Alright, that's it for the ROG X AIMLAB Hone Ace mousepad, let's head on over to the mouse. Here's the ROG Harp Ace AIMLAB Edition Wireless Gaming Mouse. On the box is similar branding that we've seen on the mousepad, and here in the front, there are markings that say that this supports Asus Aura Sync, 2.4GHz wireless, and Bluetooth connections. I assume this also works with a wired connection, making this a tri-mode gaming mouse. At the back, we can see the different features offered by the ROG Harp Ace. It's of an ultralight 54 gram design, an 88-hour battery life, and it has ROG micro switches. It's also got ROG's new Speed Nova wireless technology that offers near zero latency for the 2.4 GHz wireless connection, as well as minimal radio frequency interference. As for the sensor, it's got an ROG Aimpoint optical sensor that has a 36,000 dpi limit, with less than 1% deviation. That's a pro-level wireless sensor if I ever saw one. Here at the bottom, we see the same code from AIMLAB and we can see that the mouse supports the AIMLAB Settings Optimizer app. We'll give that a quick test later, but for now, let's get the box opened. As we open up the box, we're greeted with a little note here that says Dare to be Green. It says that ROG has a commitment to create sustainable packaging and as such, the Harp Ace AIMLAB Edition packaging does not feature any plastic material and have been replaced with recyclable alternatives. That's really good, Asus. As some of you may know, I am a big supporter of sustainable packaging, and I love seeing initiatives like this from big manufacturers. Under that, we can see a card introducing the mouse as the grand collaboration between ROG and AIMLAB, and it's even digitally signed by the head people of AIMLAB. Cool. Under that, we see the mouse itself inside a dust bag. There is cardboard everywhere around the mouse to protect it from bumps during shipping. Let's set it aside for now and see what else is in the box. Underneath that layer, we can see the manual, warranty card, and the accessories. It comes with rubberized grip tape for the sides and click pads, replacement PTFE feet, and finally, stickers. Also on the layer we just removed is the USB-A to USB-C soft braided data and charging cable. Neat. Alright, that's everything inside the box. Let's check out the mouse itself. 
Upon taking out the mouse from its dust bag, the first thing that I'm noticing is how light the mouse is. Don't be surprised with that, I almost exclusively use big heavy mice because of my large stature. But man, 54 grams weighs like nothing in my hands. It's like there's nothing inside the mouse. The next thing I notice is how ROG is stuck to the tried and true shape introduced by the OG Microsoft IntelliMouse. A long, medium width, ambidextrous shape for the ROG Harp. I can't overstate how much I love this shape. It's just so comfortable, that's why I've stuck with my Logitech G900 after all these years. Long, medium width, ambidextrous mice are the best for me. The mouse has a very grippy finish all around it, with the side buttons in light blue. Do note ambidextrous users though, that the ROG Harp Ace only has left side buttons, denoting primarily right-handed use. Scroll wheel performance is very firm, no mushiness whatsoever. At the underside of the mouse, we immediately see its 5 PTFE feet and the 2.4GHz dongle housed near the bottom. We also get a DPI switch button, a pairing button for the Bluetooth functionality, and a triple mode switch for Bluetooth, wired, and 2.4GHz wireless operation. One thing to note here is the lack of exposed screws. Unlike the ROG Gladius and Keras models that feature user-replaceable push-fit switches, the ROG Harp Ace is not easily openable for switch replacement. Alright, that's the ROG Harp Ace Gaming Mouse and Hone Gaming Mousepad. Let's give them both a test. Here's the mouse and mousepad setup on my desk. Like we saw earlier in the unboxing, this set is advertised to have connected apps from AimLab, so I downloaded those and let's explore them alongside the ROG features in Armory Crate. Armory Crate first. Here's the UI once you connect your Harp Ace. As is usual, we have button customization where you can assign different functions to your mouse clicks as you please. Switching over to the performance tab, this is where we can set the different DPI stages of the mouse, all the way from an incredibly slow 100 DPI to a comical 36,000 DPI. Polling rate can also be adjusted from 125 to 1000 Hz, acceleration and deceleration adjustments, an angle snapping toggle, and angle tuning. Regular gamers usually scoff at these settings, thinking that, oh, why would someone ever introduce mouse acceleration or angle snapping to their perfect sensor mouse? May I please just remind you of gamers who are also physically limited, especially disabled ones with problems with physical dexterity and fine motor movement. This offers accessibility options for them to operate their mouse with less difficulty. So, ROG, thank you for keeping these settings. Moving over to the lighting tab, there are wide options for lighting, even though the only RGB lit part of the mouse is the scroll wheel. The calibration tab offers surface calibration and lift off distance tuning for the mouse sensor. Funnily enough, there is no option for the ROG Hone Ace here at the preset surfaces options. Let's manually calibrate the sensor for the Hone Ace for now. Next up are power options, which shows the battery percentage of the mouse and lets the app give you battery notifications according to how much battery is left in the ROG Harp Ace. There is also control for the sleep mode. Lastly is the firmware update tab where you can keep your ROG Harp Ace software updated. Alright, those are all the Armory Crate features for the ROG Harp Ace. Let's get to the AimLab features, shall we? First off, you're going to have to download AimLab from Steam. Upon opening it up, we can go straight into custom mode and go to settings optimizer. Note that the DPI, angle tuning, and left off distance training can only be accessed using the ROG Harp Ace AimLab Edition gaming mouse. And the training hierarchy should be DPI training first, sensitivity training, angle tuning, and finally left off distance. These are time consuming and highly detailed tests which unfortunately would make this video too long to be palatable, so I'll be tackling the AimLab features in another in-depth video. And finally, before we end this video, let's test it out in some Quake Champions. Oh, this mouse is so comfortable. Like I said before, long, medium width mice are definitely my jam. It's just so important for me for my mice to touch the inside of my palm when I'm gripping them. Hopefully with continued use of the ROG Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition, I can improve my Quake game.
So that's the ROG Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition wireless gaming mouse and the ROG Hone Aim Lab Edition gaming mouse pad. Would you go for a mousing setup like this? Let me know in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe, check out my previous video, and stay tuned to my channel for more tech and tech-adjacent videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.